Hey guys, it is Clark Sexton from Rua Full Mortgage, and we're continuing in our education series. Today, we want to be able to talk to you about what is the difference between a 30-year and a short-term fix, more commonly a 15. Now, there are other terms that you can get, but the most common ones are going to be either a 30-year or a 15-year, so we'll focus our attention on that. So the number one and most popular mortgage that people get is a 30-year mortgage. But a lot of financial advisors would encourage you to only buy a home that will be within a certain percentage of your income based on a 15-year payment. Well, everybody would love to have their house paid off in 15 years, but the reality is that a lot of people can't afford the 15-year payment. So let's talk about the strengths and benefits of each of them. So a 30-year, first of all, okay? With where rates have been for so long, the 30-year rate has been really, really good, historically low. A 15-year rate will always be lower than a 30-year. Depending on the market that we're in, in some situations you can find a 15-year is gonna be a full percentage rate lower than a 30-year. Other situations in other markets, it's maybe closer to a half percent. In those situations, sometimes it may not make sense for you to do a 15-year, because here's the thing, you can schedule a 30-year payment, and if you are disciplined, you can actually make additional principal payments that always go directly towards principal, which will allow you to pay your house off faster anyway. And if you run into a situation where maybe you're having a lean month, or you go on vacation, or maybe something happens with one of the cars, and you have to pay extra money, well, you can fall back on that scheduled 30-year payment. The other side, the flip side to a 15 year, if you're in that higher payment and the car breaks down and you gotta put $1,000 into the car, you still have that higher payment. The mortgage company is not gonna be like, oh, you know what, this month we'll give you a little reprieve. It doesn't work like that. So you have to kind of balance these things when you're ever considering. Yes, is it great to have a lower rate? Without question. Is it great to be able to pay your house off in half the time? Of course it would be. But you have to look at all of the situations in the full picture to make sure that a 15 year will work in your budget no matter what is going on in all the other type of situations financially. So hopefully this has helped you out guys, help you kind of understand the differences. If you have any other questions about this or anything as it relates to mortgages, contact information is below. Make sure you're, you follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. We're under the Sexton Team Education Group. We have a ton of resources there for you. And as always guys, it's a great day.